He found one group that's much more focused on a very different fascination. We're talking about robots. Fox 5's John Henrihan introduces us to the D.C. students heading to an international robot competition. On a spring break day when most D.C. schools were empty, a small group in their school uniforms came to Friendship Chamberlain Charter School for some final packing. Check off, give bags, give away bags. These young women are packing for a trip to Toronto, Canada, where they will enter their custom-designed robot in an international competition. The robot that these 6th and 7th graders designed is based on the NASA robots Spirit and Opportunity, which have been on Mars since 2004. The kids had to learn about the Mars rovers through library and internet research. Then they had to design a robot that can use an optical scanner to successfully follow a path. Their teacher offered very limited help. They literally built the robot themselves. They did the program themselves, the research themselves. I just facilitate. They did all of this. So this, this gizmo in front mm -hmm. of you is not your design? No, I did nothing of it. I just pick up the pieces when they fall on the floor. <laughs> This was not an easy task for 11 and 12 year olds. I learned that if you if you keep on working at a task and if you don't give up, you can get the task done and you can be really good at it. The toughest moment was when we were struggling to get our work done before we had to turn it on. The robot developed at Friendship Chamberlain successfully follows the bold line, but generally fails to detect the thinner line. If I could give you unlimited resources, could you solve that problem? Yes. You could make it follow a skinny line? Yes. You could make this thing go all the way to Los Angeles? Yes. <laughs> the DC-designed robot will face off against other student-designed robots at the Society of Black Engineers conference. Aren't robots going to revolt and take over the world? No. They're not? No. They do in the movies. <laughs> That's not really real. But this robot is real, and it was good enough to qualify these kids for a trip to Toronto. John Henrahan, Fox 5 News.